yes. Um, so everybody is back from international duty. Brian uh, finalized some of the details on the personal end, so he's back in training. Uh, we're still assessing Edward Atuesta, uh, and suffered an ankle uh, sprain in the last game, and we're trying to size up his availability. Um, but the group as a whole uh, came out of the last game feeling good about, uh, uh, especially the way we, late we, uh, we saw the game out. Uh, the mentality at the end of the game was quite good. And as always, we just got to keep pushing things forward. Uh, yes, we were all pleased that Brian left on a good note, scored uh, one great goal and, and another goal against uh, the Galaxy. Um, you know, there, there are some little things that we still showed him in video the last two days um, defensively where he needed to be better against the Galaxy. So uh, we see the pluses, but we're still trying to develop the complete player. Uh, I thought overall his performances with Uruguay were also going in a good direction, so we're going to keep trying to build on that. Yeah, nothing has changed. Um, the questions are always with this idea that if you, if you lose, then everything's wrong, and if you win, everything's good, and that's never the way it works. Um, throughout the season, there's been a lot of pluses. We've tried to continue to grow as a team. Uh, there have been moments where we've played well, but still hurt ourselves with a mistake. Um, there's been moments where our ability, as an example, to defend a cross late just wasn't good enough. Uh, so you work on those things, but now making sure that, that in all moments of the game, our concentration is good. Uh, the reactions of players are good. I, th I think we've seen um, a better effort of the team in moments defensively when we have to uh, run harder in transition. So those are small details that we keep trying to improve. Thanks, Katia. Um, go ahead, Max. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Bob. Uh, two questions, Bob. Uh, first one, what have you seen uh, from Edwards' uh, leadership qualities during the last couple of games uh, as he's had the captain's armband? What, what has it impressed you about what he's been able to do on the field in that capacity? Uh, we've been working on Edwards' leadership for really the last two seasons. Um, it's a role that he feels he can grow into, that he feels that he has pluses as a leader. Uh, we would all agree. Um, and, and leadership is, is multifaceted. It's, uh, it's in the right time speaking, organizing, um, that part of it. But it's also making the right decisions. Um, you know, I spoke to him after the Kansas City game where I, I emphasized that late in the game. I thought there were a few moments where uh, he was thinking more about himself than the team. So the process of becoming a real leader in a team is, is, is over time, understanding situations, understanding uh, the score, what the situation of the game is all about. And I think Edward's trying really hard to uh, put all those things together. Yeah, I mean, this expression back to goal is one that we don't use around here too often um, because you want strikers that actually face the goal and score goals. Um, but we all understand that there are moments in a game when uh, a team is pressing and you have to play forward and be a little bit more vertical that having a striker that can find ways to uh, position himself uh, receive the ball, either uh, bring others into the game or get away from the defender. 
uh, that those things are important, and I think Chicho has shown that he has those qualities. Um, I think as a team, we have to hold each other accountable more. Um, you know, that was a moment where um, Chicho had the ball, Moon made a run, uh, it was late. Um, you can discuss whether it's the right time to, to run forward. We're all right with that. Uh, Chicho, uh, in, in moments where he has advantages when he has the ball at the, that with, uh, the ball at his feet, that's an area he has to be better. He's had opportunities in the last couple of games to get the timing right and slip a better pass. Um, in this case, he chose to go to Sifu. Uh, and had Sifu scored a goal, everybody would have said, great play. Uh, Sifu's back heel was very predictable uh, and the ball turned over. And in that moment, uh, everybody needs to react to defend, and that isn't just Moon. That's uh, Sifu, that's uh, Cheeky was pushed up at that point. So the idea that at that point in the game, when a ball turns over and a play doesn't go the way you want, that everybody's committed to react fast and run. Uh, I mentioned that earlier, uh, defensively in transition. Uh, and that's, that's something that the best teams are committed to do. And so we continue to try to raise the bar. And leadership is not just a captain's armband. It's everybody holding each other accountable. Then in these moments, uh, everybody's got to react as a team and, and make sure that the situation doesn't turn into a chance for the other team. OK, and just a couple more from me. How do you assess uh, Fall and, and Bryce Duke, their performance in the last match? Uh, for Fall with the ball, it was not a good match for him. Um, but he's still a good presence as a young player. Uh, he's got a great way on the field, personality. Uh, and so even on a night where with the ball it wasn't his best, he still made sure that down the stretch of the game he was an important part of, of helping us defend a 3-2 uh, lead. Uh, Bryce, I think, had some very good moments going forward. Um, got the ball in transition very early in the game, 15 seconds and played quickly towards Danny Masofsky, and then that led to a good movement of, of our attackers and Chico, uh, Chicho picking up the loose ball and scoring. Um, yeah, and then Bryce was disappointed with himself that, that the giveaway off of, uh, you know, it was a corner for us. There was some uh, misunderstanding between Bryce and Cheeky when the ball came loose. We ended up going all the way back to Tomas he played a long ball, we lost two headers, and it came to Bryce. And in that moment, it looked like we had control and, and Bryce gave a careless pass. And uh, obviously it quickly went in transition to Julio. So Bryce was uh, unhappy with himself. That was, that's a poor play. But there were other parts to that play as a team that we should have done better. Um, I think Bryce is growing uh, week by week. Certainly um, uh, in some of the attacking moments, uh, going forward where we find him with the ball, his ability to make a final pass or sometimes to finish the chance himself, those are things that we think can help us. Okay, and lastly from here, uh, there's 33 points left uh, through the regular season. Do you have a number in mind of what you guys need to hit or reach? Is that something you put to the team, like we need to get to this mark, anything like that? 33. Good. Bob, uh, over the, the four years uh, LAFC's existence, has been a decent amount of turnover in there. I just want to know what's behind the moves to bring in another keeper, and if that means anything in particular for Tomas and Pablo Longoria. Uh, it's the end of the year, and, and to have some depth, uh, it's important. Um, Pablo uh, yesterday had to have uh, a minor procedure done um, where he fractured his nose last week. Um, so we'll actually use a pool goalkeeper as the backup in this next game and maybe the next two games. Uh, Jamal is a keeper that we've observed, but obviously to get to know him, you need to see him day in and day out. So 
Uh, we'll see what that looks like when, when he's in training. He's arrived but hasn't trained with the team yet. There's some protocols that need to be followed. Um, but uh, as always, there's, there's a part of making sure that as we go down the stretch uh, that we have all situations covered. No, we're concentrated fully on Austin. As you said, they've played uh, good football throughout the year. Um, they're a team that uh, I think everybody respects for the way they go about things. And yes, they've had some days as a new team where even though they've played quite well, uh, they haven't come away with results. Um, but uh, we, we certainly know from the, the game that we played there earlier in the year. Uh, they have a great crowd. Um, the atmosphere is fantastic, and we expect uh, a good football match and a, and a really good test. All right, last question, Ross Fisher. Go ahead, Bob. Hey, Bob, uh, Ross Fisher with the Stryker, Texas here. Um, we cover all things soccer in Texas. Um, I spoke with Frank Corpus last week, uh, as well as uh, Josh Wolf just a few minutes ago. Obviously, a couple of your former players um, on those uh, MLS Cup winning on the MLS Cup or Chicago Fire team. Just wanted to know what was Wolf like back then as a player? And then with so many of your former players from that uh, MLS Cup winning side becoming head coaches, um, your current assistant, Ante Rozov, uh, played with you on the fire, um, and now with uh, Jesse March posting at the, the highest level now. How do you think you influence them? And do you take any sort of credit, uh, maybe for being a, a godfather of sorts for young American coaches? Um. I'm proud of all those guys. Uh, I don't take any credit. Um, I, I think that uh, we created good environments uh, in Chicago. We had a really good mix of veterans and young guys. Um, we had players that love football. And I, I think we had an environment where the passion for the game, the competitive nature of all those guys was there every day. Uh, there's some really good stories about uh, trainings that got uh, physical and competitive. Um, but uh, to a man, when, whenever we get together, I, I think all of us appreciate that it was a good football environment. And uh, for me, I just have tried wherever I've been, whether it's club teams, whether it was coaching in college or, or any team since, to try to create an environment where players are challenged every day, where the game comes first. Um, you know, Josh was a young player. Uh, I knew him a little bit before he arrived, but uh, you could see quickly um, his talent, um, his, his ability to threaten the defense, get behind, score goals. Uh, so he was a, a, a good young player. We had, you know, when I say we had good young players, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in those days, um, you know, we, we had Josh, uh, and later we had Demarcus Beasley, Carlos Bocanegra, Dima Kovalenko, you know, Chris Armas, C.J. Brown, Jesse Marsh, Ante. I mean, at a time when the league was new, some of those guys weren't in their teens anymore, but they were still, in, in effect, young players. And uh, to have an environment where you challenge young guys and, and where hopefully you help them, uh, and then it's nice when, when they've uh, all taken their experiences um, as players and, and thought about them and, and decided that some of that is going to lead to coaching. So uh, I'm always excited when I see uh, any of those guys continue to be involved in the game.